tazama Mungu katika wakati wote na Opportunity that you have granted unto us, Lord, that we may worship you, that we magnify your name, O God. You are worthy, Lord Almighty, to be magnified, O Jesus. We thank you, we worship you, we worship you, King of Kings. We magnify your name, O Redeemer. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you for granting us a new day. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, mighty God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I worship you. Father, I worship you. Father, I worship you. I give praise. I give honor to your name. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. In Jesus' mighty name, you are worth alone to be magnified. O Rabba Sheketere Bozantara Rabba Bozai. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, who is like you, Father, such a morning. Lord, I magnify your name, O God. You are worthy, Redeemer, to be exalted. You are worthy to be magnified. Thank you for the this day that you have granted unto us, Lord. It's a day that we have never seen since we were born, Lord Almighty God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Father, for your love. Thank you, Lord, for granting us a day for another day for an assignment. In Jesus' mighty name. Oh God, we worship you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Oh God, we worship you from the deep of our hearts. In the mighty name of Jesus, we worship you, King of all the glory. We magnify your name. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of laws. Oh Rabo Sheke Terere Bozantara. Oh Rabo Shaka Terere Bozantara. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. My brother, my sister, worship together with me today in the name of Jesus. It is a day that we need to draw near to God, that he may draw near to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, we pour our hearts before you as we worship you, as we honor you, Lord. Father, I thank you, Lord. There are so many things, there are so many instances of life that we have gone through, and the Lord has been on our side you need not to keep quiet such an hour in the mighty name of jesus just worship him worship the lord in the name of jesus Oh God, I thank you, Lord. I worship you. I magnify your name. Oh God, you are worthy to be exalted. You are worthy to be magnified. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, my Father, your promise to walk with us. We are today's disciples for Christ. I remember the word of God. It says that Jesus... Uh, promise the disciples that he shall be with the him uh, they, 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 he shall be with them to the end of the age I believe and I trust that scripture applies to us today that we are not alone we have Jesus who is with us we have Jesus who is giving us hope in regardless of situations circumstances in the mighty name of Jesus O King of Kings we thank you Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Redeemer. We magnify 
your name you are the king of kings you are the lord of lords oh ribo sheke terebo zantarara we cannot keep quiet such a time let's keep on worshiping the lord today in the mighty name of jesus father we worship you father we worship you we worship you we worship you we give praise we give praise to your name oh god in the mighty name of Jesus who is like you lord who is to be compared with you lord thank you father thank you father we worship you redeemer we magnify your name from beginning to the end you are one god oh makate rebo sheke terere bo zandara rabo zai father we thank you we worship you we worship you in Jesus mighty name Our dear heavenly Father in the mighty name of Jesus I want to thank you because of our dear viewer today I know God you have good plan for him or her Lord I pray that God you are going to to direct it our paths in the mighty name of Jesus thank you Father because you are going to make our way seems to be no way in the mighty name of Jesus thank you Lord for your love thank you Lord Loma Katero Bosheke Terere Bosai Father we thank you we worship you Lord with all our heart Thank you Father thank you mighty God may you guide us to to the end in this discussion Lord may you guide us to the end oh my father even Lord as we hear what you spirit you speaking concerning our lives today in the mighty name of Jesus Father thank you because you have heard our prayer and it is through the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit we do pray and give thanks amen hallelujah May I take this opportunity my dear viewers to say asante sana for joining me this morning just to worship the Lord maybe on your end it is in the evening late evening maybe uh, you are in the afternoon I will come you on board I want to acknowledge minister Edith you already on board may God really bless you for joining this morning as you keep on joining make sure you you tag a friend you also share with your friend and also notify us where you are watching from in the name of Jesus Christ this is good morning holy spirit it is a program that every morning the spirit of the lord is downloading what the heavens is saying about our lives and it is very important as we start our day we start having been blessed of the lord you know we start with a day full of the packaged spiritual food in our lives and let me tell you when you're strong in your spirit no any no no plan of the enemy that will overtake you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I'm pastor Mary Machani I'm I've been walking a journey with the many souls and I want to give God all the glory because of the testimonies that I'm receiving and today I want us to embark ourselves in another discussion and then we are going to pray and pray and pray in the name of Jesus you are there maybe you are dressing up maybe you are on your way to work I want to pray with you I know that there are many things that you need God to intervene for you in life and God is faithful he is going to meet you in the point of your need in Jesus name what you require to do is just to have faith in God and I tell you for sure that something mighty is going to happen in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want us to go to the word of God uh in the book of Proverbs chapter 19 verse 21. The word of God says that the many are the plans in the man's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that he prefers. Many are the plans of the heart of a man that no man who lives under the sun without a plan and there are so many plans every day when you wake up in the morning you have a list of items you have a list of assignment that you want to undertake per day but you realize that in the midst of all those plans it's only the 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 purpose of God it's only the plan of God that he prefers and i want to speak to somebody who has been disappointed because of the plans that you had for this year 2020 when the year began you had a list of things that you wanted to do before this year ends and you have realized that in your list there's nothing that has progressed well 
and you are so disappointed, you are so discouraged. Let me tell you something. Nobody knew that this uh, pandemic was to come on our way, but in God knew. And he knew that his plan will prevail in your life. And I want you to thank God with me that God, in regardless of these tough times that we have gone through as, a, as the entire globe, I want you to know that God has kept you safe. So you can't complain. Just have a reason to thank God. Many perished on the way we starting this year but you are still breathing you have a reason to tell god thank you i want to let you understand the reason as to why we are living in stress the reason as to why we are living like a, a, a desperate life is because we want to to push our own plans to uh to 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 be fulfilled but let me tell you the truth that we need to plan yes but let at all times we allow the will of god the purpose of god the plan of god to prevail because many a times we have done our own things and we have put god aside we need to have a plan but let us be flexible that god is able to interact with our programs is able to bring another another plan in the midst of our plans and when we do that our life will never ever be the same again the reason is why many people have not as Started the assignment of God is because you are still moving on with your own plan. God is telling you, yes, it is good to have a plan, but allow the purpose and the plan of God to prevail. The, one, the Spirit of the Lord is reminding me in the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 from verse 11 that for the Lord has good plans for us. So the plan I'm talking about here, the plan that God is talking about here is not the plan to destroy us. We are so much rigid to our plans. We, when we have a plan of our life, we get a hold of it. We get it tightly. You know, we, hold, we normally hold it tightly. We we don't want anybody, even God himself, to bring changes in our plans. And I'm speaking to someone who is so stressed because your plan have been shortchanged by the plan of God. Let me tell you, if you live, if you live a life of freedom, that you understand that any time God can interrupt your program, then you're going to live a life of liberty. You are going to live a life of freedom. You are not going to reach to a point of regretting of your life. Just live by the standard and by the will and the plan of God. My sister, my brother, you will never be frustrated. If you put all your trust in the Lord and you align yourself in his plan, and I'm not saying that you should not have your own plan. Have the plan and acknowledge God in those plans. And your thoughts and plans are going to be established because you have already involved God in it. This morning, you have so many plans for today. You have many plans for the remaining part of the year. I want to request you one thing, that in regards of having all these plans, let God's plan be key number one. That each and every time you come up with a plan, tell God that I have this plan, but... I want to follow your will. I want to, to, to follow your footsteps, oh God. And every time you have a plan, can you align your plan with the word of God? The scripture will never let you down because it is a, it's a living word of God. And I want to let us understand that since you started growing, you have been having your own plans all through. And you have never discovered the purpose of God in your life. Meaning that you have never started doing the assignment of God. I normally tell people that we, when, when, uh, when we come to the sector of employment, we have two types of employment. We have those people who are employed in permanent and dependable. That you are sure that you've been that uh, job until you retire and there are those ones who do cashew jobs cashew jobs you the the, the the job is and there is a lot of uncertainty that means that anytime the job can come to an end and by the end of it all 
there is no pension there is no you know there are no benefits after you uh, even you may not uh, you may not reach to a level of retirement so you can be retrenched any time when you are casual worker so when you talk of the life we are living i normally give this an example of the assignment of god that when you discover the purpose and the reason as to why you are existing under the sun and you start working towards that assignment that assignment is compared to a person who has been employed permanently and there is pension by the end of it all. But now when we talk of your work that you do, your business, the job you are doing right now, you, you are preparing yourself to go to work here, right? And if you, are, if you have this job, you have this uh, business, you have this, you know, company, all these things, I call them the casual uh, type of work because these things or these workings, these uh, uh, businesses uh, will take you up to the graveyard. But the work that or you have done, the assignment that you have done for God, you will carry it forward beyond the grave. So it is better me and you to know as early as now that the purpose of God is for us to fulfill his assignment before we die. It is the purpose and the will of God to start doing his work when we are still strong. We should not wait the time we are not able to go to work. We have been retraced from our, our workplaces. Maybe we have retired when the government does not want you. You know, they say that you are worn out completely. You cannot produce. You know you are weak. That is the time you want to do God's assignment. I have come to let you understand. The time is now. The time is now to start realizing the assignment of God and then embark yourself to doing it. Every moment that the God calls upon you, to, you need to respond. You need to live a life like a soldier. That a soldier when he's called by the master, it doesn't matter whether he was dining with the family, it doesn't matter whether he was asleep, it doesn't matter whether he was traveling, but he answers yes sir and go and responds to the call of duty. We need to be very sensitive in the spirit. We need to identify this assignment as early as now. My brother, my sister, you are going to your business this morning, but in regardless of going to your business, I'm encouraging you today, arise, identify the assignment, the power, the capability within you. You are not empty, my brother, my sister. You are very strong. God has positioned you as a vessel to do something. The assignment that God has put in your heart is very different with the assignment that he has put in me. And let me say this, that the time I got this revelation, I did not sleep. I decided I'm going to push. I am going to move. I am going to move towards doing the assignment of God. And this is one of the things that gives me the, 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 the more grace, that gives me more strength to wake up every morning, to speak to one soul, to speak to two souls, to speak to three souls. Whoever will be touched and be turned, alive, uh, 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 be turned to, to the assignment of duty, glory be to the name of the Lord. There are others who are sick. You are sick not because the enemy has brought that sickness in you, but you are sick for not realizing what you are supposed to do. Your heart is in pain because you are in the wrong assignment. God is calling you now to stand firm, look at him, and let him open up your eyes and see the assignment that is at end of you. The word of God in the book of Ecclesiastes 9.5 says, Anyone who is among the living has hope. Get me right. That anyone who is among the living has hope. Even a live, a, a live dog is better off than a dead lion. I like to say this before I continue to the other first 10. Uh, the day you shall realize that you are a sleeping giant. Let me tell you. The time you shall realize who you are and which is today. 
things are going to turn around in your life. You'll be shocked how many sources you touch. You'll be shocked how many people will be healed through you. Because you have been there and you know what? You have been so busy with your own things. Thinking that God just brought you to do your business, you know, uh, do other things apart from what God has called you to do. You are so faithful in attending Sunday services, so faithful in responding to your pastor, so faithful doing all those things. But you have never taken a time to discover the power, the capability in you. And that is where the word of God is talking of a sleeping or a dead liar. It's the, there is the comparison of two, a living dog and a sleeping liar. Today, I want to let you know this, that there is a lot of greatness in you. There is a lot of power within you. And I would like to request you, don't take that greatness into the grave. Because the word of God in the same chapter 9 verse 10 it says, Whatever your heart defines to do, do it with all your might. For in the grave, where you are going, there is neither working, nor planning, nor knowledge, nor wisdom. And my question is this. If you don't use the greatness that you have, if you keep on making it become more dormant, the power that is within you, 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 you don't start it. You don't use it. The scripture says that even if you go with it to the grave, you shall never work there. You shall never plan there. You shall never use your wisdom there. And even knowledge is not needed in that place. So your knowledge, your wisdom, the plannings that you have, and the energy to work is today when you are living. I'm speaking to you today. I'm provoking you. The way I stood and I said, enough is enough. I have been intimidated by my, my background for a long time. I've been intimidated by my past experience for a long time. I have been intimidated by the ones of men for a long time. I am going to arise. I am going to arise to the occasion. May you arise to the occasion because immediately when you, you arise, God is going to give you the tools of workings immediately. As we conclude and we enter into prayer, in the book of Ecclesiastes 6.10, the word of God says, everything that happens was already determined long ago. And we all know that you cannot argue with someone who is stronger than you. Hallelujah. I want you to know this. Before you are formed in your mother's womb, before you came to this world, your plan from God had already been released. Your purpose by God had already been defined. So for you is to be connected to the designer of your life to the one who is holding your purpose you have relied upon your own understanding for long my sister my brother but now connect yourself have intimacy with your god he is going to bring the realization of who you are the purpose that you are carrying the manufacturer knows understands the purpose of every product that he brings forth. God understands the reason as to why you are existing. You are not existing just to weep, just to cry. You are not existing just to get problems. You are not existing just to go through those painful moments. But you are existing to fulfill God's purpose. You are not even existing just to do your business. You are not existing just to be employed by that company. 
You are not existing just to take care of your husband. You are not only existing to take care of your children. But you are existing for the purpose of God. That God is so a need in this world. And he brought you as a, as a, as a product. He brought you as a solution to that problem. If you don't position yourself to become a, 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 a to, to, to solve that problem, who else do you want to solve it? That is why you are feeling a kind of desperation within you. You are feeling so much, this, you know, it's like God has deserted from you. But God wants you to say today, yes, Lord, I am here. Show me my assignment. I am ready to do it. When I took a step and I told God that, I told God that I am ready to serve you in and out of season. God was able to position me. And that is why there is power within me that is giving me persistence and consistent. When you are not on your line of duty, it is very hard for you to be persistent. But when you know this is my area, if you know this is where God has called me uh, to, 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 to do my assignment, you never feel tired. You work tirelessly day in, day out. And I'm speaking to a people who love just to copy people. You want to see your sister is doing a certain assignment and you, you, you copy. You copy. And you find at times that your sister still continues and you, you are struggling to do that. Don't live someone's life. Live your own life. Do the assignment of God per his purpose for you. Discover who you are. Discover the power and the capability within you. And all those things that are intimidating you are going to come out, on your way, out of your way. When an authority is running, his focus is on the touching line. The spectators may be, you know, encouraging this person, but this authority, his mindset is on the finishing line. If you understand your assignment, in the kingdom of God. If you understand your purpose, you will never feel as, as if you are not dead. People will never intimidate you. Even if a three or four, seven times on the way, because the mindset is to touch the finishing line, will still arise and keep on running. Keep on running. Keep on running to towards the finishing line. It doesn't matter how many times you will fall, my sister, my brother. But keep on running. Keep on running. Keep on moving towards your destiny. Keep on moving towards touching the finishing line. And I tell you for sure, the word of God has said that what we fight to do, let us do it with all our might. If you have not discovered what to do, your hands will be everywhere. Anything that comes around you will toss you up. But a person who understands and knows his or her purpose will always be focused. Glory be to Jesus. I am praying with you today, my sister. That sickness that has been rotating within your life, we are going to overcome it. By saying this disease cannot kill us. Because there is unfinished business. There is some assignment that I have not completed. So God cannot allow you to die before you complete. Before you finish the race. Paul said, I have fought a good fight. My sister, if God comes to you today and you are told to put your house in order that you are going. Will you say that you have finished the race well? Will you say that you have done great? 
I know some of us have not started. Kindly, let us embark ourselves. Discover our assignment. And then we start moving towards our destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. So, we are being told that everything that happens was already determined. So, the plan, the roadmap, your roadmap has already been drawn by God. God understands how many years you are going to live in this world. He knows, and that is why David told him, Father, help me to, to number my days. So that I may gain a heart of wisdom. The God who understands the numbers of your hair. He has written your name on the palm of your hand. Is the one who is speaking to you today. Arise to the occasion. Don't allow the enemy to delay you. Excuses to delay you. Complaints to delay you. Remember, Solomon has just said this, that, and we all know that you cannot argue with someone who is stronger than you. The longer you argue, the more useless it is. And you are no better off. You better not complain. You better not argue. You better not give excuses. It is time to arise and say, in regardless of my situation now, I have purposed to connect myself fully to my creator so that he may reveal to me why I am existing on, under the sun. Something becomes valueless when it has no use. A product becomes useless when you don't know its function. You are given a cooker in your house and you don't know how to use it. It is very good to have it in the house, but without the knowledge on how to use it, it becomes useless. If you don't discover what you are carrying, you will feel valueless. People will never treasure you. God will not treasure you. That is why he says that every branch that does not produce fruit, he cuts it off. I refuse to be cut today. My sister, my brother refuse to be cut in the name of Jesus. We want to pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Let's embark ourselves in prayer this morning in Jesus' mighty name. You are not useless, my sister, my brother. Just say, just confess that I am not useless. I am not an accident. I am not a bad omen. I am not a curse. Just tell God that I am here to connect myself with you. I am here to hear your voice speak to me. Just to worship the Lord together with me. In Jesus mighty name. As you confess positively about your life. Oh God I thank you. For my viewer who has been with me since we started this discussion this week. Father, one of the things you have told us is that you have good plans for us, plans to prosper us, oh God, because that plan is what you are saying is going to prevail. Today, Lord, we refuse the plan of men to prevail in our lives, but God let your purpose and your plan prevail. Because when it prevails, Lord, we are going to succeed. When it prevails, we are going to become more great. Oh God, we thank you, we worship you. Father, I am praying for somebody who is discouraged, who does not understand what is to do under the sun. Lord, I pray that you are going to interact with us our life. Today in Jesus' mighty name. And you're going to bring revelation 
on the duty, the line of duty needs to position herself or himself on. Oh God, I thank you because of his life or our life, Lord. I thank you because of my sister. I thank you because of my brother. We are saying that, Pastor, may you pray with me. I want to start working for God today. I have been doing many things, but I have never found where my heart is. Lord, I thank you. I pray that the spirit of discernment, Lord, be upon this person in Jesus' mighty name. Thank Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Let your hand touch them, Lord. Touch them, Lord. My Father, may you start the power that is within you. Start them, Lord Almighty, so that they may arise to the occasion in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, many have been having so many excuses, so many complaints about their lives. They have stayed there complaining, but God, before you formed us in our mother's womb, you had already given out our roadmap. Lord, we connect ourselves to you, that we may follow the roadmap, Lord Almighty, without going astray in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We worship you. Lord Almighty, we are not complaining, but we are thanking you, oh God. Thank you, Father, for revealing this to us, because you are saying that whatever our hands finds to do, we do it with our mighty. We do it with our passion, Lord, because in the grave where we are going, there is no working. There is no planning. There is no knowledge, and there is no wisdom. Oh God, you are saying we are sleeping lions. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that we are going to arise, Lord, the power that is within us is going to be active in our lives in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you and we worship you. We magnify your name. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We thank you and we honor you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. I want to pray God for people who are going to work today. Lord, I pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit that every blessing of today is going to accompany my brother, my sister, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, I refuse every plan of the enemy. Anything that the enemy will was planning against this, this uh, my dear brother and sister Lord I counsel in the mighty name of Jesus every trap every snare of the enemy I eradicate it in the name of Jesus I pray God that you shall they shall have angels to minister to them in Jesus name you are going to open doors for them Lord Almighty there is someone who is saying in my workplace there is a problem people are conspiring against me Lord I pray for favor for this person God I pray for favor for this person in the mighty name of Jesus favor Favor, favor. Oh, oh my God, I pray for favor. The favor of the Lord to be upon you today in Jesus' mighty name. That you they are going to discuss. There shall arise someone to support you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you and I worship you. You are saying, Pastor, I'm sick. I need prayer. You have a sick person in hospital, in your, in your home. Is it a relative, a friend? I pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. With the word of God says that he sent his word and healed our disease. I pray that Jesus, you are the healer. The blood that poured in the Calvary, it was to bring us all, to make, to make us all, to bring healing. I declare the blood of Jesus that that is that is as power of healing to touch the life of this person for healing in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for my, my psychological healing in your life. I pray mental healing. I pray spiritual healing, physical healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord Almighty, you are renewing the strength of somebody today. Oh God, my Father, I thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. My sister, may you wipe away your tears there hand of the Lord is upon you. May you receive new renewal of strength in Jesus' mighty name. Every desire that you have by the will of God, I pray that God will meet you now in your point of need in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. I know you are doing a new thing, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit of God. Oh, Father, I thank you. I worship you. Someone is saying, my name has been tarnished by people. Oh, Lord, Father, I thank you because of this person. I know that, God, you are able to cleanse. Oh, my God, I pray that you may protect the name of this child of the kingdom. Lord, touch is our life, Lord. 
Bring new name, O oh God. We have spoken ill of him, O oh our Lord. I pray that, Lord, you are going to prove them wrong. Such a time in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you and I worship you. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. You are there, you are saying, Pastor, pray with me. I want to receive Jesus as my personal Savior. I want to pray with you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I want to thank you because of this soul. They are saying that, oh my God, terrible Zai, that they want to receive Jesus as their personal Savior. May you say after me, say, Lord Jesus, I come before you, I'm a sinner. I have the desire to have you, Jesus. May you cleanse my sins. I receive you as my personal Savior. L write my name in the book of life. And it is in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Father, I thank you for this soul. I know it is not in vain that this prayer has come along. I pray for strength. I pray, God, that you are going to renew the mind of this person in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Redeemer, in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. And it is in Jesus' mighty name we do pray and give thanks. Let's say a big amen. Amen, amen. Wow. Thank you, my dear viewers, for uh, being with me in this program of Good Morning Holy Spirit. And I know that your life will never ever be the same again. I know that God has good plan for you. And when you position yourself, you are not going to feel valueless. But you are going to fulfill God's assignment before you leave this world. Um, I, I, I trust that God is going to walk with you the entire day. The blessings of the Lord are going to accompany you. And may God be with you. Let's meet tomorrow, same time on this platform. Bye-bye.